Hello everyone, welcome, I'm Davy. Today I'm in my bedroom because I am sharing with you some simple and budget friendly ways that I have updated our bedroom for the summer. So this is part of the Flippin' Friday collab hosted by Jamie at Border Bananas. There's also a horde of other people participating, so check out Jamie's channel in the description box as well as the playlist. So I'm gonna share with you just some simple updates that were super affordable, most were free. So I hope you enjoy and find some inspiration in this video. So the first area I'm going to share with you is my favorite and that is this dresser. Um, I think I've showed this dresser maybe a while back, I'm not sure, but we used to have a really tall chest of drawers that I had growing up and we replaced it with this antique piece that I found on Facebook Marketplace for $40 um, and I just love the look of it and the character it has. The poles are adorable and the little locks. I have no key for it but it's just so adorable and cute with three drawers and the detailing on it is lovely. And on the top I used to have this white rectangular mirror and I went and painted it a turquoise with some paint that previous owners left in a small little sample container of some bear paint, um, the bear brand. I'll put it in the description box if they have it. I don't know if they have it anymore. But I love the pop of color. We have white walls, a white bedspread, and so I just needed another color. And if you can see, I use some yellow in my curtains with yellow and white curtains as well to pull in some more color so I'll get to those in a little bit though but on that dresser then I put the mirror in the center instead of on the side like I used to have um, I changed out that little white box on the top just for some more um, I don't think to add more character like this picture with some wildflowers like some um, echinacea and daisy that I had and some cat mint so and some wild grasses too. I just thought that was really beautiful to add some flowers that were in my yard to put in that picture. And then a stack of old vintage books. I love using old vintage books. And then a little picture of our daughter as well as this was our cake topper from our wedding that I just like to keep in our bedroom as sentiment. So that is how I have made that over. So cheap and affordable because everything was free really except the chest of drawer or dresser I should say. And I love, love, love the way it looks. And my husband last night as we were laying in bed, he's like, that looks really nice. So it's nice when your husband enjoys the space too. All right, the next area I mentioned was the curtains. I found these quite a while back actually on our, at our Savers thrift store, like last fall, honestly. And um, I was hoping there were four, but I just used two for now. And they have just a little bit of a mustard tint, so not quite the yellow I was going for, but I like the color. Like I said, we have white walls, white bedspread, so the color is really nice and it pulls in the yellow theme of our bed. And on our bed, I pulled out some pillows from our guest bed, honestly, and put those on there. The little yellow flower one just makes me smile because it's like sun in summer and I just love that yellow on the bed with the gray pillow um, shams as well. And then we have a gray bed skirt. So I think it's nice to pull in just a few different colors on the bed and it's very, very simple. I don't do a lot of throw pillows. My husband's not a fan of throw pillows. So some days I don't even put them on, but today I did of course to show you guys how we do it. And then our nightstands are just some simple um, wooden crates and we've had those wooden crates for quite a while. I, I don't even know when I got those but I just used some faux flowers. I didn't have enough real flowers at this time to put in those. I have a piece of ironstone that I filled with this faux flower. They're from Dollar Tree actually that I've had for a couple years when they came out at Dollar Tree. And then on my husband's side I used a piece of milk glass that I have and put the same type of flowers in there as well. And just made it really simple with some white storage boxes underneath as there are no shelves on crates like the ones we have. So just a place to put some of our 
books on top and other things inside that we might need in there so that is the bed oh and the headboard i don't know if you know my husband made this when we first got married when we lived in a teeny little 400 square foot apartment he made that to go over our bed so we've just brought it with us as we moved to this house and i really like it i know it's really dark but it really matches the dresser and then the crates for the nightstand i really left it super simple and i love it i love the turquoise and the yellow and the white and then of course all the flowers that you can add in during the summer so i hope you really enjoyed this and found inspiration to um, just do things simply and affordably in your home give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'd love to have you subscribe to my youtube community I do videos such as these, simple and thrifted living, homemaking, and motherhood. And don't forget to check out the whole playlist of everybody else who is participating. All right, love you guys and talk with you in the next video. Bye.